Hey guys, today I'm gonna explain to you all of the rigs, attachment modules, however you wanna call it from the Striders. If you don't know how to tame a Strider, make sure to check out the link in the video description because I made a video of that topic already. And then let's get straight into it. Let's start with the head uh, modules here. You see we have four different ones. Same for the body modules. Let's start with the first one that's looking a little bit like bunny ears, I would say. If we go now on top of it and ride it, then we cr first go and yeah, see the name. It's the radar rig. It's pretty easy if you press the right mouse button, then you probably know this move from a parasaur. And now we cover a much, much bigger area. And on the left side, you will see all of the creatures or enemies or players that are in this area. Um, with their specific level and their range how far away they are. You will see this for 30 seconds and a few seconds after that you can do it again. So pretty nice if you wanna, uh, if you're searching for small dinos on a specific level or something, for example a 150 dodo or something for whatever reason you would need one. Um, but yeah, pretty good if for some cases here. Then we have this one that has like, it look it looks a little bit like a blade, I would say. Um, and now if we ride it and go into the menu here, we have the excavation rig. This one is probably the most famous one since you will farm with it. If we press the right mouse button, you will see he will harvest everything in his range. If it's stones, berries or anything else, um, he can just harvest it by <laughs> yeah, scanning or looking at it. And yeah, so probably the best or the most used head rig in the game. Then we go to this, looks a little bit like a deer here. And yeah, if we write it again and check the description, it's the silent cannon rig. If we're gonna activate it, you see this like pulse thing here. And um, this will silence enemies. So if you fighting, for example, against the UT runners, the UT runners can't use his buff. Um, yeah, because he's silenced, so you can avoid, yeah, players buffing the creatures or something like that. Then we have the last head rig that's looking a little bit like horns I would say if you if we cl look closer here and let's go into the menu it's called the pulse cannon rig it yeah it's nothing special it's just a pulse cannon like the name already says it's dealing like seven damage each hit you see it's not too strong um, it's it's nice to have but yeah it's actually pretty bad so every other rig is in my opinion much much better and yeah so let's start with the body modules first we have this thing here that's looks that looks a little bit crazy like glowing and stuff um, if we go into the menu we see it's a shield projector rig it's actually pretty simple to use you just activate it by pressing C and then we have a shield you can also move it by pressing C into a specific direction also almost behind you there we go um, or you can also move it up by looking up so depending on where the projectiles are coming from you can just change directions and you can also deactivate it again let's get to the next one and here we have the resource attractor rig this one you see these pockets on the sides of the of the um, strider here this one is increasing the weight that you can carry so especially combined with the excavation rig it's very very useful for farm runs since you can carry a lot lot more so i would definitely recommend this build here that i have right now uh, with the excavation rig and the resource attractor rig for going on a farm run then we have this module first you don't see anything but if we look at, it, at the at the front here you see a thick cannon here and this is called the face cannon rig with that one we can shoot one huge yeah, a beam i would say um if we turn around and try to uh, take this stego into focus here you see we have a small crosshair right now on the stego and if you press c now you see it's loading up and shooting one huge bullet towards the stego and yeah you it has a small cooldown obviously and you can also destroy structures structures with it um but keep in mind that heavy turrets or tech turrets can keep it away or destroy it while it's flying so but smaller bases you can easily wave with it and yeah then we are on the last module already here we have the shield generator rig 
this is pretty simple you will just activate it and then you will have something like a force field around your strider here even if you walk around it walk, moves with you so, um you can obviously also destroy it if you if you uh yeah make enough damage against it but uh yeah you can also reactivate it then really quickly also all strider combinations can spawn in the wild so it's fully random you ca don't have specific areas where where they spawn or something else and as I already mentioned, if you want to know how to tame a strider, make sure to check out the video in the video description. And then don't forget to like, subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye.